Hi everybody, tonight we will do a neck warmer. To do that, we will start by casting on our machine with some waste yarn. First, we prepare our machine. The machine that I use is the Adi Express King Size. Found the black needle and I will cast on all every two needle, one in the front, one in the back, for the first row. When I finish that, open the yarn feeder close it and then I will crank my machine. I will do at least 5 to 10 rows with waste yarn for this technique because we, I will show you how to craft how to do the crafting of your uh, neck warmer to have an invisible seam at the end. So we crank that I put it fast and when I I will get to 10 I will stop almost there right here stop it open the yarn feeder put your yarn in the middle and put carefully you're working not you're working but your project yarn just the same place open the yarn feeder close it me so lose that part my yarn go all the way so I will put that on the top hole it will be easier for me put my counter to zero and crank the machine pull some yarn because it was very tight on in the ball and if I don't do that it's gonna put some tension on the needle and my work will not look great so always important to pull your yarn out of the well, uh, I have a drop stitch. I put pick it out right now. It's only the waste yarn, so it's no need to to fix all of, all of it. Just important to attach it on the needle. So I will crank like this. When you notice that your work touched the table, it's very important to turn it like this because it will prevent some drop stitch and some uh, tension on your needle. And now I didn't have enough uh, yarn, so I have to put some more. So to do that, I will just put the end of it in the middle and grab some new, <laughs> new yarn. It's not new yarn, but it's a <laughs> new little ball that I have at home. Because right now I'm using everything I have. <laughs> so now I will attach it together. This not easy to show how to do a knot <laughs> with the camera keep an eye on the the little, little uh, screen and try to be in the, the right focus so I will crank it like this till I get under it and 10 rows when I get there I will go and grab some waist yarn some yarn in the middle at least a one meter of yarn make make sure you have enough to do your seam at the end okay so i put all that yarn in the middle make sure everything is okay with my needle and i will come back with some yarn with yarn i'm looking for my words tonight because it's uh, almost 3 30 in the morning and i'm still up making some video <laughs> Everybody's sleeping here. So I did the waist yarn like I did the add some yarn earlier. Just put it in the same place and I don't attach them because I have to remove it at the end. So put all the little yarn in the middle and I will crank it till I get 10 rows. And when I get no more yarn, it will release from the machine by itself. Already there. See, check this needle, no, no yarn, and it will release when I turn. Need one full, and it's starting. There. So you go slowly, so that way you don't have any uh, yarn that divide and get stuck on a needle. So, like this one. <laughs> and I put my machine aside, 
and it's time to stretch, stretch, stretch. If you're still here, uh, write something like crayon in the comment. It will be co it will be funny. Crayon. C R A Y O N. Just for fun. So I put one side of the tube in the other side. Like if I was making a hat, but it's not a hat, it's a neck warmer. So I have both sides in the same side. <laughs> Sounds funny. Oh, sorry, the camera was not set correctly, but I will fix it soon. Don't worry, you will see the second stitch. That's the first one, you will see the second. And if you see the second, you will understand how to do it. If you don't, you could go and check my headband, my pink headband that I made uh, earlier this month. So you see, I go grab the old stitch and go to the other one. And when I go down on the other side, I will do the same. And if you do that, it is give a put all a little tail inside. We'll see a little V, like your stitch is making, like this. Up. When you down, you have to put your needle up and go down. And when you up, you have to get your old stitch. This one's bugging me. You have to go get your old stitch, go down, and then go up. So up and down, down and up. So you have your V, you could see it right now. Look good. So you don't go too tight. If you go too tight, it will not work. And don't worry if you don't get it like first time. Took me three days to figure it out and to find a way to show it like that it could look easy <laughs> to make. <laughs> so there. put a smile in my face because I'm so happy I, that I'm able to do it. I was looking for that for a long time and now I do it like it's very relaxing when you get out to do it. It's very relaxing to make. I am preparing a lot of video with that technique with but with different kind of projects so if you don't learn it here, you will learn it later, for sure. There. Almost at the end, be careful. Make sure you grab all the stitches, very important. If you don't grab everything, you're gonna get a big hole and you don't want it. So I got it. I will remove the white yarn. You won't see it because the video was stopped. After 20 minutes, my camera stopped and I forgot to check the screen and it was off. So, but actually I'm happy. So you could see this part, the other side of the waist yarn. So the little white ball is on the left. You could see it. <laughs> I saved my yarn, but I will remove the waist yarn and then you will see the project when it's finished. Everything have to be removed. Don't go too fast because sometimes you could have like some yarn that divide and get stuck like this. And <laughs> you have to cut it. So that's the way it look. You will stretch it and stretch, stretch, stretch. 
that's a nice technique because it's going to be uh, very flexible if you want to put that around your neck it will be okay it will not be tight on you be warm on you so this is the funny part i'm not quite uh, professional on it but i will do my best so i grab the stitches there Keep a loop and do a little knot. It's still okay. It's not perfect, but it's still okay. I don't claim that I'm a professional. I just claim that I'm having fun with my machine and I like to share every time I learn something. To share it for you. With you. So I do the same with the other one. The other tail. The reason I have two tails not the same place is because I ran out of the uh, yarn and I didn't stop at the black needle. So that's why. When I start and when I finish, it was not the same place. So that's why. So I will stretch it look great and I will turn it on the other side for a better result and voila that's it so see you next week don't forget to subscribe if it's, if it's not already done and hope you have a good week and never give up there is there is always a way bye bye